the power is here. Samsung has just introduced the Exynos 9820 chipset that's gonna power the next gen flagship grade smartphone by Samsung. This particular platform is adapted to compete with the upcoming Qualcomm Snapdragon 8150 and the high silicon Kirin 980 processor. The competition created a pressure on Samsung to develop a true beast in every single aspect, but there's a major cutout which will affect all those speed demanding users. Firstly, the Exynos 9820 is the greatest improvement over its predecessor in terms of AI capabilities thanks to the new NPU that allows the processor to run AI-based tasks seven times faster than the previous Gen 9810. This makes sense as we are entering in a new AI world and we have seen how Mate 20 Pro uses its dual NPUs for new video features. So if Samsung wants to make the S10 competitive, they actually need this step towards the future. This new platform will allow Samsung to make improvements in terms of every single activity like photography and video recording. Also, as this chipset comes with a bundle of significant upgrades, it will give you a far better experience compared to the previous Gen Exynos. Obviously, upgrade means a better quality. Samsung says that they have put an integrated modem which supports LTE CAT 20. This tech will give you a mind-blowing connectivity if you live in a good area with a good network. Just don't focus on those figures as that require a lot of effort by your carrier too. Moving to the best part of the processor, the Exynos 9820 comes with an advanced ISP that supports up to 5 sensors including an IR sensor. But this is theory and practically, Samsung is not gonna put such a massive camera upgrade on any of their flagship smartphones next year. We would get triple camera lens but as none of them will have a megapixel count of 33 or above, there will also be no 8K video recording. This is a gimmick in real life and Samsung has done this in tech life. Also, this upgrade will help you to record 4K videos up to 120 frames per second, which is impressive. So don't expect unexpected outcomes through your pocket device. Now all these are good stuffs but if you measure them practically, they are lacking some major info. The Exynos 9820 is an 8 nanometer platform which will obviously experience less speed compared to Kirin 980, Snapdragon 8150 and the Beast A12 processor. However, the company claims it to be powerful and I'm not denying that fact as it's an upgrade from 10 nanometer to 8 nanometer, so we will obviously get more speed. Secondly, all those connectivity depends on your network and the camera. I'm excited to see such upgrades in future, but for 2019, we will have a chip supporting massive tech, but we will not have smartphones using that special tech. So yeah, the 9820 chip will power S10 Lite, S10, S10 Plus, S10 Plus 5G versions, Note 9, probably Galaxy F and tell me your thoughts about this in the comments down below. I'll see you guys tomorrow in my next video. Till then, peace out.